question is, have you heard of the 500 spectacle of homes? It's a new Indy 500 tradition that lets race fans show off their community and their love for the greatest spectacle in racing. Dozens of homeowners, by the way, are taking part across central Indiana, but especially if you go to Speedway, you'll see a lot of it. Joining me live are two of the participating homeowners, Michelle Lighty and Julie Calvert, both joining us this morning. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Julie, let's talk with you first. Your home looks great. What did you want? Why did you want to take part in this? Well, the whole point of living in Speedway is to really be engaged in the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And so it's kind of like um, if you don't decorate, why do you, you know, why do you live here? So just just to celebrate and to get in the spirit. Yeah, Michelle, you've got the Borg Warner Trophy in your yard. How did you come up with that idea? Uh, about 12 years ago, we wanted to do something, we've, we've always decorated, and we wanted to do something kind of extra special and unique, and I thought, what is something that nobody else has, and we thought to do a Borg Warner Trophy, and it just sort of evolved over the years, and we keep it and bring it out just for me. Now tell me, how did you make this, be, or did you actually go somewhere and buy that? Buying it would have been a lot easier. We we went to the <laughs> hardware store and we just went up and down every aisle to think about what we could put together to, to get that Borg Warner shape. And it's basically a trash can. So okay. it's a trash can trophy. <laughs> that is very creative. I can see you have a, a, a some talent there making that. Well, Julie, does the event make you feel a sense of pride for Speedway? Angie and I were talking this morning about a lot of the redevelopment that's happening in your community. And it's so nice to see that so many of you are actually participating to, to show pride in your, your community. Yes, it's been great uh, riding our bicycles around both all over Speedway and seeing everyone decorated and see the uniqueness and um, just to see what everybody has put out in their yard. And most of us start the end of April, beginning of May, and Michelle and I were just talking about how it's such a pain though, because we still have to mow our grass and we have to move everything, move all the flags, right. and, but it's, it's well worth it. And the kids in the neighborhood also love it. And we see people driving throughout the neighborhoods, taking pictures and stopping. And so it's fun, it's fun. I can tell. Well, Michelle, after a year without anyone in the stands, are you excited to have race fans flood the town this year? And you know, when all of the traffic comes in, they actually park in yards. What about yours? Absolutely. We, last year we learned more than any other year what a big part fans are to this event. There was sort of an electric magic that was missing from, from last year when they held the race that right. we had no fans. And to have those folks come back and converge on our town just just builds up the excitement and, and the anticipation. There's an electricity in the air. I can definitely feel that. And Julie, finally, the 500 Spectacle of Homes wraps up on Saturday with the reverse parade. Can you tell us quickly a little about that? Yes, so the reverse parade is going to happen Saturday from 11 to 2. All 33 drivers will caravan uh, leaving the Indianapolis Motor Speedway at 11 a.m. They're going to drive through the neighborhoods of Speedway looking at all the decorations because the drivers never get to see it. And, um, and then they're going to culminate downtown, and they haven't exactly said, but pretty sure they're going to be driving around the circle, and that'll end at 2 p.m. All right, Michelle Lighty and Julie Calvert, thank you you both for joining us this morning. Your homes both look great and we can't wait for race to start. Let's go racing. That's right. All right. Let's go. Thank have, you so thank much. You. You're very welcome and have a great day.